So I came here like 10 minutes early before they opened and I was like, that's enough time to, you know, get a video of mom opening the store. Nope, the sign's already out front by the time I got here. What, you said get here like a half hour early? <laughs> yeah, your mom's running around uh, a lot earlier, so. Yeah, so I, like, I think as long as, uh, as long as someone's in the store, mom just like, hey, as long as this, someone's in the store, we might as well keep the door open in case someone comes early or something. Yeah, she opens it up at like a quarter of... Not every time though, in case someone's watching who's local is like, why aren't you guys open a quarter off? Well, it depends on what she's doing. If she's yeah. getting groceries, she's a little later. If she's not doing groceries, she opens up mm -hmm. a little earlier. So the store opens at 10 or possibly earlier, but yeah. no later than 10. <laughs> in sometimes, the summer anyway. Sometimes at 9 even. Yeah. Your mom's all set and... Yeah, I mean, yeah. If fun. someone's in the store, you yeah, might as well. We don't care if you yeah. want to come. Yeah. So anyway, Max, you already had your candy briefing for the day? Yeah, it was extremely brief today. Let's <laughs> pretty much just look around and do it. Do just it. Do what you can. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you got to do? Um, well, I washed the molds. Um, I did something else. And now I'm <laughs> unmolding. Huh. Yeah. Can you see what you're unmolding? You doing potato chips? Wait, with the enrober or by hand? No, no, just by hand. Oh yeah. yeah. The enrober leaves too many spots. And oh, we, so you guys aren't doing it then nah, with the enrober? We, we tried it and we just for the heck of it to see what it was like. Yeah. And it's just easier just doing by hand. Almost the same amount of time anyway. So. Yeah. Because you can do potato chips kind of quick. Yeah, because we're quick. Yeah. Oh, oh someone someone said we should call Mac Manic Max when he, if he gets really fast. <laughs> Yeah, I got a little manic anyway, so you just call me that regularly. <laughs> I, I say it all the time, I'm like, have I ever used the word neurotic to describe myself? <laughs> have I ever said that before? Uh, you have now. Yeah. I think I've said it before, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, the reason I was so, like, thrown off and a little confused here is because I was just telling your dad that when I first made the large bars, um, we needed like 200 and I ended up making like 330. Oh. Yeah. Um, it happens. And then I went back and I found even more in a different box. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, we're really loaded up on these things. <laughs> and then I was just un undoing this, the box full of them. And we have half as many as I thought. So what? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> did we lose half of them? Did I count it wrong two Count times? it twice or something? I, I don't know. I have no idea. So right now I'm just trying to think back and be like, what did I do? Like, hmm. So I think I'm gonna run up there and see if they have any more. <laughs> I thought we had 330 plus the extra ones, but we only have like 165. So <laughs> figure that out. I'm really confused. You're confused too. Yeah. <laughs> what not, not a huge you? mistake. It's, I didn't like, bet mess anything really out. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. So, so I came up here to see if we had any more large bars, the plain large bars, because um, we need like 200 of them, and I counted out a bunch of molds, and apparently I can't count very well, because uh, at the end of it, like I went to recount, and we had like 330 instead of 200, so I was like, oh boy, we're set on these, yeah. and then I was unmolding this morning, and I found more large bars, so I was like, oh man, we're never going to have to make these again. Um, no. And then I was taking them all out of the box that I'm molding to bring them up here for you guys and found out we have like half as many as I thought. So, <laughs> I know. What? I know, right? So, so that's why I was like, are there more up here? Did I just count it wrong and then count it wrong again? <laughs> like, so, are I'm sure Are you ever I, right? <laughs> were you drinking when no. you were counting? Yeah. I mean, I drink water all the time. But, uh, <laughs> It's never had an effect like that. I, there's no more bars up So there. what are they going to do to you? I'm making you make more. He's going to get <laughs> fired. <laughs> You're fired. I have to work for free for the next like six months to make up for it. That's it though. Yeah. And then they'll rehire me. After that you'll get half pay, but it's yeah. better, it, it'll be better than no pay. There's no candy I'm working my way there. back up. <laughs> Every time you make a mistake, what? man, that would be. You're not just kidding your parents. I know. <laughs> you know. Yep. I'm in on it. <laughs> no, there's yeah, no so. candy bars up here. There's no candy bars up here? No. I better get to work, huh? Are you sure that it's any? Are you 
count up? Yeah, I have, I have 165, so. You think? Mm, yeah, I think. Did you use a clicker? Uh, yeah. Well, no, I used a calculator. Maybe, maybe you hit multiply instead of plus. What? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> well, actually, I hit plus and then I hit multiply. You're mm. awful smiley about it. Wipe that smile off. I can't. I have to change my gloves. <laughs> <sighs> You're in trouble now. Do you have any tips and tricks for people stacking bars at home? If you have limited space, I suggest or suggest like trying a bunch of different patterns so that you can really squeeze them all in there. Because mm -hmm. like the first two patterns that I tried to get them on here, I would have been missing out on like five bars. Like you didn't help them out? You didn't tell them what pattern to use? I think he can figure it out. He likes laughing at me while I'm struggling. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> He's doing it right now. <laughs> So is your pattern just long ways? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. It, it changes from, uh, you like know, from like... How big the tray is or something? Well, yeah, that too, but um, depending on like which mold you're using. How big the tray is? <laughs> oh, awesome. I don't know, man. The ones that are crooked, right? Yeah. They might have a little extra distance. Yeah. I don't know. I, I vaguely remember something like that when I stacked things like three <laughs> times. Well, that should have made you a pro. So. I know. Sam, I heard you just learned how to put together pecan turtle boxes. I did. Do you want to teach everyone how? I can try. <laughs> <laughs> did you, you learned like what, 10 minutes ago or something? I did. I've been putting some of the other boxes together, but they're kind of a pain. Yeah. And they're not easy to put together, so I kind of just put it against my body like so. <laughs> I'm pushing the tabs like this. And you gotta put a little pad in the bottom. You have to weigh it because you have to tear it out because it weighs. Mm -hmm. Don't want to cheat anybody, their, their candy. Nope. So the pecans get five ounces in the small and 10 ounces in the large. And as you can see, the canister is full of yummy pecan <laughs> turtles. And you just kind of, like a puzzle piece, mm -hmm. put them in the box as nice as you can without scuffing them up. And then you weigh them up to five ounces. And sometimes the box doesn't want to fill up proper so we're only at four okay you can see the box is pretty pretty full yep so oh so we gotta look around for one that maybe will get me to five four six bummer <laughs> let's put that one back get a bigger one do picky in there four six well, oh. we're going to have to shove another one in there and try to get the box to close. Five on! Perfect. Then you got to try to get the top without getting it all chocolate. Yeah. Boxes aren't easy to get together, but I'm getting it. Mm-hmm. And you put it on. And they get a little gold sticker. Let's say five ounces. And then we take a little gold ribbon and put it on, and there's your five ounce. Wow, so talented. Nice and pretty. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. That's not a hat. Wrong hat. <laughs> you got a 10 gallon hat? How many gallons do fit in there? A couple? At least a couple. Well, you heard it here first. At least a couple. At least a couple. <laughs> Should uh, break up bars? Yes. I know, last time we did a break up bar video, someone said, is it called a break up bar because you eat the whole thing after you go through a break up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and sit there and cry. <laughs> <laughs> cry yourself into chocolate. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs>
break up there. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Now what temperature do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. Let's see, it says, uh, says 80. Wow, it's pretty close already. Wow. That's probably 90 right now. Yeah. This thing's not, uh, it's not the most reliable. It's not working, huh? Yeah, I don't know where the other, your other thermometer gun is, but... Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, this one's the more reliable one. Oh. Definitely. Let's see. 88.8. Oh, see? I was close. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty close. I said 90. And the stuff in here, 92. Oh, wow. So it already cooled down about like 4 degrees or so, roughly. That's right, tough guy. How neat is that? <laughs> And then Jeff Foxworthy says on there, he can afford anything he wants in the mall. And he picks out a fart machine. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Nah, that's funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> that's a great movie. It's <laughs> awesome. They call me Tater. Tater Sale. <laughs> Ron White's awesome. Yeah. Were you guys watching it today? No, just last week. Oh, yeah. We were talking about earlier how uh, we watched that movie. Uh, uh, what was it called again? The. Bruce Campbell movies. Uh, Evil Dead. Evil Dead, yeah. Evil Dead? I <laughs> never so heard funny. You and me watched it. The, the, they had aliens on there and the graphics were so funny. That oh, was it a sci-fi original? Yeah, it was sci oh, yeah. I, I, it was, did we watch it like 10 years ago or we, something? Yeah, we watched it. I think it. I remember that. Because it was so bad, we kept watching it. It was just so funny. There should be more movies like that. <laughs> like, like, there should be more movies that are just really bad. Yeah. Well, that's what we were talking about. It's like all the movies that are famous for being awful, you know? Yeah. Just, you know, I mean, The Evil Dead is one but that started off serious. Thing, though, yeah. Because it's so bad that it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I uh, that's why MacGruber is my favorite movie, followed by Strange Wilderness, yeah. um, Hot Rod. Hot uh, Rod is one of the best. Hot, yeah. It's one of the best. Um, and Idiocracy. Oh, yeah, Idiocracy. But Idiocracy is, it's, it doesn't fall into that category of, like, stupid humor. You know well, I, mean? like, I, I feel like it's a different type of stupid humor, because the whole movie is about being stupid. But I guess the <laughs> difference is like in the intent where it's like, yeah. it's, not, it's not we're doing dumb stuff, it's we're pointing out dumb stuff. Yeah. You know I, mean? like, yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. Idiocracy is, it's it deserves it, I, more respect. I feel like Idiocracy <laughs> deserves its own genre of comedy. Yeah, it's, it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, like you watch it and you're like, it's funny, but like I could see this happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John Oliver is so funny. Yeah, it's like I want to laugh, but this is real life. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. Oh my god. in peace headphone wearers. <laughs> Cover in chips, Max. Dead into. Yeah, as soon as you turn the camera off, I take it all back off. <laughs> do you take all the chocolate off? Yeah. How do you do that? Start With my tongue, dude. I lick it all off. Mm. You start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we reuse the chips. <laughs>
Tips and tricks for people covering their own chips at home. Yeah, buy them from here instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, covering chips at home, it, it could be fun. Um, make sure your chocolate's not too, not too cold. Like right now, my chocolate's too cold, and that's why I can't really fly through them. Mm -hmm. um, get a lot of chocolate in your hand, and that's about it. Yeah. 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 It's really. Not that tough. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. You know how to temper the chocolate. Yeah, it, it definitely. It doesn't seem too complicated, but it definitely does seem like after doing it a while, you definitely get like more efficient. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. You're not gonna be fast at first, and I, I don't know about other people, but for me, like when I first start doing chips, no matter how long it's been since I did my last bag, mm -hmm. it feels like somebody put new hands on me. Hmm. You know what I mean, like they don't feel like my hands. So it's not exactly like riding a bike. No. Not for you. At least, at least. not for me. Yeah. Dad, how do you feel about it? I like riding bikes. Yeah, that's what I figured. <sighs> yeah. How about you? Do you have any tips and tricks? Hmm. Um, get a get a neck strap when you're filming someone doing chips. So then you can get a pretty steady shot just by holding the camera. Um, and you know, keep your arms close to your body, you know, so you keep a stable shot. Or yeah. <laughs> and a wide angle lens doesn't hurt either. I'm getting people. married today, Dad. What do I do? <laughs> Keep your arms near your side. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no, that was pretty much it. Yeah. Words to live by. Hmm. <laughs> My first son's on the way. What do I do? Well, I don't know, but... Keep your arms tucked in. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah, you always know what you. to say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> Dad, what are you writing down? You know what he's writing down. Keep your arms I'm writing about you. close to your side. What are you you writing a report? Yep, I'm gonna give it to corporate. Am I getting oh no. This is my third time getting written up this week. Maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, you know what it probably is. They're writing up good things. I'm not even gonna bother to check. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite worrying. <laughs> So did you uh, warm that chocolate up with the other chocolate you poured on there? Mm -hmm. Makes it a little bit easier. Warm my chocolate up with some chocolate. You know how we do. Yo, dog, I heard you like chocolate. <laughs> so I had chocolate to chocolate. So you can mix chocolate. You can't mix even chocolate. tell. Whoa. Wait, so which one was the old chocolate? And where's the new chocolate? Oh, you really have to have a good eye for chocolate. You mixed I mean. it all up? Oh, Max. Man. You it's weren't supposed, supposed to let it out, It's supposed dude. to be like the left side's the old chocolate, the right side's the new chocolate. You, you probably just got me fired, Craig. Probably. When corporate finds out about this. When they see this video. Yeah. Well, you don't get fired here. You have to work more hours. For free. <laughs> yeah, half the price. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy. Yeah, and you have... Well, yeah, they don't make you pay full price. They just make you pay half price. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of funny, you know? <laughs> well, I guess that's what the punishment is. It's not that... The punishment is no work. The punishment is no pay. <laughs> <laughs> the punishment is you have to pay yeah. for your work. Yeah, there you go. I like that one. <laughs> Paying us back for all the time we wasted on you. <laughs> and your time working is only only counts for half. Mm -hmm. so if you work for eight <laughs> hours, it counts as four. And for those four hours, you only get half the pay, you, or you you have to. I don't know. I'm getting yeah, too no, far I'm into this. Like, I'm getting wait, too so far into this rabbit hole. You're netting negative seventy five percent, or what? Where Something are we like at that. Now? I don't know. I'm giving up. <laughs> what are we talking <laughs> when about? In, when in doubt, just give up. Uh, see, your dad's got better advice than mine because that's what he always tells me. <laughs> uh, if it's too hard, just stop doing it. <laughs> just kidding. My father never said that. <laughs> Never said yeah. that. You know, I feel like Hard in life sometimes it is important to know when to give up. Yeah. Because then you know if you if you don't like give up losses. one thing, yeah, you know if you don't give up one thing, you you may uh, never find out what you are really good at. You are correct. You know. You are correct. Are you trying to say I'm not very good at chocolate? What are you <laughs> uh, dropping some hints here, man? Huh? Um, what is this? The words of wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Confucius say. Confucius say. 
No, no, I'm not gonna say it. I mean, you me either. <laughs> do you know what one I was gonna say? Cause I, I say it a lot. You were gonna say. <laughs> Wait, you do or don't? I don't. I don't. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you when the camera's on. Meeting of the minds. <laughs> That's what happens when me and Max uh, make videos together. <laughs> Ooh, I'd say this, but uh, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> don't wanna get demonetized. <laughs> Tell your mom, what? What? Don't want to get demomatized. This is it's Max's like point of view. I'm telling mom. Yeah. Max, Max always moves his head too, like this. He like moves his head. Whoa, which Whoa. way am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can, on, do, Craig, you can do it through the screen, right? Yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get this chip off my finger and then I'll try. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll put this around your neck. Whoa. There you go. And hold it. I can't see the chips, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. It's almost like I'm watching something. <laughs> you ever see that video? It's like the dog's head, and he's got like a flannel on, and he's eating a Big Mac or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that's what it looks like. All right. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> What? You got video of that? He's writing us up again. Dad, what the heck? I got proof now. <laughs> yeah, Dad can uh, Dad can take videos now. Nobody took his word before. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I got Zoom too, see? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Zoom? <laughs> Show off. Okay. I'm putting my phone down now. <laughs> yeah, worry. get back to work, don't Dad. Worry, changing my gloves. <laughs> yeah, just so corporate knows. Yeah, don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Wait, do you have any tips and tricks for people putting their, their gloves on, Dad? Yeah, don't put them on with wet hands. Yeah, that would, that's actually really hard to put your gloves on that way. <laughs> <laughs> Blow into your gloves and then put it over your head. <laughs> Just to stretch it out enough, put, it, put your uh, put your hands in it. Now, did you make all these nut boards? Yeah. Oh. Pretty clever, huh? Yeah. Wow. Right after they in invented the drill, the drill press, you just went out and got one? And at first they invented the wheel. Yeah. Sounds about right. The timeline matches up. That's how I made the holes. Made more wheels. Made more wheels? <laughs> 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 oh, because every time you made a hole, you made more wheels. I made the wheel. <laughs> Those look like really useful wheels. <laughs> little tiny wheels. <laughs> yeah, for little cars. <laughs> Back in the day, all wheel wheels had like 90 wheels on <laughs> And then Dad was like, wow, I can make bigger wheels. <laughs> then he made a bigger drill press and just, you know, it's a whole thing. He didn't really want to, but, you know. Yeah. Wheelie. Wheelie? No more FUD. He finally got around to it. Finally got around to it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Dad got it. it. Took me a minute. Hmm. It was uh, hard to gather information, but he had to axle his friends. Yeah. And then when he went and he spoke to them. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. whoa! Oh, he's on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too tired, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep working. <laughs> Right, it's kind of an awful, I know, I know, I'm, I'm at the end of my rope here, but <laughs> when, when I was in physics class still and we were studying angular momentum, mm -hmm. the uh, the notation for that looks like a happy cyclops. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. That's the best I can come up with right now. <laughs> Will we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Wow. Is that your funnest part of the day? My funnest part is leaving. <laughs> <laughs>
I was listening to the the H three podcast, and there, no. yeah, I was. Believe it or not, and they, there was uh, this reporter that they they're just like watching a video and just watching the cringe. And then the reporter was asking everybody like really weird questions. They're just like, "How do I answer that?" He was like, "No, what, what kind of fun do you think you'll have today?" And they're like, "Uh, the good cut." Yeah, they're like, "Well, what what are my options here?" <laughs> like. <laughs> Did I get like a multiple joint? What do I get to do? What kind of fun? <laughs> um, regular fun? Uh, Tuesday kind of fun. <laughs> hey, today's Tuesday. All day. Is it like friends who do stuff together kind of fun? <laughs> you and me kind of fun? F is for friends who do stuff together. Uh, you and for you and me. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Here comes me. So is that show. <laughs> Randy, no, what? R- Randy. Randy Quench. Quench. Yeah. What? Uh, what kind of nut cups are these? These are peanuts. Oh yeah. Dark chocolate. Yeah, to make some more nut cups to, for the assorted chocolates so we don't run out of them. It's a good reason. That's why, yeah. Mom, what are you doing? Math. Math? I thought you graduated. Oh, did I say math? I meant math. Oh. No, math. I'm just figuring out the, how much linear feet we need for displays. I've come up with about 107 linear feet and mm-hmm. how that translates into shelves mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and slat wall and then I'm doing square footage for how much area we have so this is a present display area mm-hmm. so yeah so right now we have 170 107 you know shelf inches okay you'll be quiet just just be quiet <laughs> um and you you were thinking uh the other day of getting um uh morgan like you know just get, there's a lot of noise going on. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. it's a busy store. Uh, yeah. So you're thinking of getting a bunch of gondolas, and now you're thinking of getting like some gondolas for like the middle of the store, and then they're just normal. Well, Matt Hoskins said you should just put the slat wall on the wall. Yeah, and he, he's right. <laughs> so I asked my contractor if he installs slat wall. So I figured out that if I did slat wall, I could do um, linear wise. Say I did about a hundred and uh, did about. 28 four foot shelves and they would be you know one two three four so it'd be seven sets of four shelves Mm -hmm. against the wall and then some gondolas and then we also need i'm still figuring out the square footage for the um like how much area we have for the our flat surfaces here Mm -hmm. i'm coming up with I think we have about 66 square feet for flat surfaces, mm-hmm. so like the top of the assorted case, the end cap, the island there. Just figuring out what kind of displays we're going to use for that. Mm-hmm. And you're doing this so that you can sort of plan out blueprints and also how many shelves to get? Yes, how much slat wall to get, which the whole wall where we'd be putting against, that whole wall is 27 feet long. Mm-hmm. And we can't, we don't, it's not going to butt right into the corner. Yeah. So you got to come out of the corner and then there's also going to be... At the end of that wall is the viewing window where they can see into the factory, so we're not going to have the shelves go right up to there. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking maybe we'll just do 24 feet there. Mm-hmm. And then the rest will be gondolas. Then maybe one or two gondolas, because they even have some gondolas that are on casters. So you oh, can casters, wow. Say no more. Yeah, I know. And then there's another um, gondola that's like four feet high, and again, it's on casters, and it has these little um, bins that. I can find it for you. So for us laymen and women, what are casters? Like rolly things. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. So is that like a microwave cart, but better? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. I, actually, when you... If, these are mm. actually little shelves here. Mm, okay. Now this is slat wall, so that means you can put shelves on there, or you can take the shelves off and you can actually put hooks on there, like you would put a pegboard hook. Mm-hmm. But I've got these little bins. This company has little bins that are... Uh, Let's see if I can find the bins. Okay, see this little bin here? Mm-hmm. That actually that will actually um, go into the slat wall. Oh, okay. So, so they'd all be lined up. 
So what would be in there? Just like the, the Oreos and yeah, stuff? Yeah, all, all the stuff we have right now in canisters and hmm. little crates, that they would all go in there. Hmm. But you can fit a lot on that. This is 48 inches and those bins are 6 inches. Mm -hmm. So you can fit quite a few on here. Yeah. Because it's better if you have things kind of like eye level that you don't mm. like to really go all the way down here. Yeah. But as we, you know, as we wear on in the season, like if we're real busy at Christmas time, mm. you start running out of stuff. And you don't necessarily replace it away. So you can just take the bin away and kind of rearrange things a little bit. You can put something on the shelves, whatever. Yeah. So that's what's going through this brain. Good thing we got a mom It might the look case. like I'm just going like this. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Thumbs, but I'm actually thinking huh. deep thoughts wow. with numbers. So deep. So deep. Oh, these nut cups, Dad? Crazy nuts. <laughs> Terry's nuts. They're, these are uh, all, um, I was going to say almonds. These are hazelnut. Wow. And chocolate? Yeah, and chocolate. Wow. Isn't that a bonus? Wait, when did you guys start chocolate covering things? Well, a couple weeks ago, I was going to tell you. You just had a bright idea? Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty smart, Dad. I know. It's pretty <laughs> modest, too. Yes, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm the best to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most humble person. You'll ever come across. <laughs> I, th I think I am humble. I think I'm much more humble than you can understand. <laughs> A couple of people will get that reference. But I'm not going to go into detail about no, what it's about. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's outside of all the context. That's humorous. Yeah. That's funny. That's even more funny when you know it. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> hey. Alright, what, what temperature do you think it is? I think it's... Uh I think it's 92. Wow, you're pretty close. Whoa. 92. Wow. What's it say on there? Uh, it says... It doesn't say anything, dude. It's not a person. Yeah, Dad. Don't be so juvenile. <laughs> Alright, did you guys smell? There is definitely some, like... Sulfur going around earlier, though. Did you smell it? I was waiting for you to come downstairs, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna have to be like, dude, I swear it wasn't me." <laughs> <laughs> it's probably coming out of the doctor fart. <laughs> Grandma got some stink bait again. <laughs> What'd she get arrested for? <laughs> they thought she stole some stink bait and duck call, but you know. Stink bait and duck call. But she what, what, up there under her nightgown. <laughs> <laughs> was that from the the what's it called blue collar comedy tour? Com comedy tour, yeah, that yeah. thing. So is that chocolate in the in the kettle pretty close to tempered as it is? Yep. About a hundred maybe. That's how you did that at record time. Although the nuts cool it down pretty quick though too, yep. right? Yeah, they do. They heat it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like five ten degrees. <laughs> Voila. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm-hmm. Nutritious. <laughs> yeah, there's nuts. It's dark chocolate. I mean, I think it'd be irresponsible not to eat it every day. Jeez. Am I right? Yeah. And when I'm right, I'm right. Otherwise, I'd be wrong. See? Yeah. You know you're bilingual, Dad. We. Oh, trilingual? <laughs> That's all I know. I have a hard time speaking English. Yeah, I heard you know English and American. Yeah. <laughs> English and American. <laughs> Quadlingual. A polyglot. Hmm. A polyglot. 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 Do <laughs> you think that people who study like tons of languages would be able to come up with a better word than polyglot? No, I think it's just polyglot, isn't it? 
I'm pretty sure it's a lot. You're just saying it wrong. I could be. Hmm. That wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. Hmm. It probably would. No, I'm not <laughs> but um, yeah. it's a left-handed personality. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Dad? Oh, nothing. <laughs> right-handed people are in your right hand. <laughs> <laughs> we just proved that, right? What? I mean, even when we were kids, it, it is kind of a silly concept. But, you know, like they used to say, right-handed people use the left side of their brain and. I don't know. I don't think they know anything. Well, I think everybody uses all of their brain, but... Well, some people don't have much there, then. Hmm. <laughs> you only start out with that. Mom? You can see me? What? Who said that? Someone there? No, I guess not. You guys didn't hear anything, did you? No, not a thing. Just you. Just you. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kids. Try and eat. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> eat right and try hard. <laughs> you try hard and eat right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, Mom. So anyway, somebody said on Facebook uh, recently that they used our, uh, my method for picking potato chips, though. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and they sent me a photo. They opened it up, and they sent me a photo of their large potato chips that weren't <laughs> crushed. <laughs> they were covered in chocolate, I think. They were no, just no. eating them. That they enjoyed it more. They they liked them so much they ate them without dip. Wow! They were so whole. Just because they're big. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> big chips just taste a better. Better mouth feel, a better chipifying experience. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> it's six, mom. Time to stop this crazy train. <laughs> it's going off the rails. Yeah, going off the rails of this crazy train. Well, you should write a song about that. That's a good idea. I think somebody did. It was. Very yeah, that sounds about right. In fact, Brad's daughter Karen asked me to put it back in the day when CDs were a thing. Mm -hmm. Could you pull that door shut behind you, please, yep. and thank you, because, you know, hug. Air conditioning, too. Back when CDs were a thing, she asked me to put it on a CD over and over. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Then I guess you couldn't, at the time, you couldn't just have it put it on autoplay, so I mm -hmm. put it on a CD for like 23 times. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Here, I'll well, grunt actually, for you so you don't have to. Muscle, so yeah. I, so oh, yeah. So, Earlier today so when I, you're. That's why I'm walking like kind of like an older lady. <laughs> <laughs> you said when you were uh, working out today? Well, I think it was when I did pull ups. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm not meant to do pull ups because it's just something I started a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Wanting to get up to five. So maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe I should just stick with the push ups. Yeah. And not be so greedy for upper body strength. Mm. Cause I did a couple of pull-ups and I started running and I only ran a half mile and I started, I thought I had a stitch in my side. But usually if you stop running, you your stitch will go away. It's still here. I'm not running. <laughs>